Hey YouTube, Dusty here, and I'm excited to announce I have officially launched my Patreon page. If you like what I do, you can sign up for tiers like Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan Rose to unlock exclusive daily content. You can also unlock unique callers from my new Discord channel. Regardless if you become a Patreon or not, make sure you stop by and say hello. Alright, so here we go. So we're going, um, I think we're going second, right? Yeah, we're going second. We rolled a one. And so we have our objection, which is really good. We have our one cost, which is also very good against the aggro deck. Because it's the thing about Vegeta, we don't know, we don't know which version of Vegeta he's playing. Um, and so he could be or could not be. He could be hand destruction. If he's hand destruction, I think this is still fine. Um, yeah, possibly. Um, okay, so we'll shuffle. I think these. I think we'll keep these two. I don't think anything else is that uh, that good. So we'll draw four cards. Um, oh, he's actually an awesome hand. This is actually a fantastic hand. We have our objection. We have our one drops. We have a counter spell with Sensu Beam. We have a removal. This is a really really good hand against. Uh, so so he plays Beerus in this deck. It's possible this is hand destruction. Because Beerus, you know, is, is often seen in those. I don't think the more aggressive versions play. Um, oh, wait. I should probably get my mic so you guys can actually hear me. Actually, sounds would be pretty good. Sorry about that, guys. I just sat down after that last game, and I, I don't have a mic. Uh, I should probably give my opponent priority as well. Um, yeah, so... He play out his boo. All right, there we go. So let's draw a card. We pretty bad card to draw, but we can throw him down as energy. But I don't want to throw him down as energy until we know we don't get him off a of boo or something. These are all such good cards. We might use ours as a mod. Actually, I think I will because we have two. We have two uh, Gwasus. It's very, very possible that we draw another one or we get one off of them. So we'll, we'll put we'll put him down. Um, and then we're going to play Gawasu. This way we can hopefully stop him from killing us with, uh, so we want to, we probably want a Whis here or Goku Black. This is fine. This is a good removal card too. Uh, this is really good if he is playing Hand Destruction. We can kill his, his, uh, his Brolies. Okay. Make sure we shuffle. I don't, do we want to attack him? He's at seven life. He took a life the first turn, which kind of indicates to me again that he's playing Hand Destruction. Uh, probably want to delay his awakening as long as possible, so we'll just go ahead and uh, pass pass turn. Oh, I didn't set my life. Holy crap! Yeah, actually, uh, before the game started, I, I, the the person I'm playing um, recognized the name, and so we talked a little bit about the channel and stuff. And I actually uh, I forgot to put my mic down. I forgot to freaking set my life. He was just asking me for tips about the deck. Yeah, so this looks like the aggressive version. It looks like we're playing aggressive version. I don't think the hand destruction deck normally plays uh, Assault Vegeta, but he is playing Objection, which makes me think that this is just mono blue Vegeta, which is, uh, I think we have a pretty good matchup against. I think we'll be able to, uh, our in game is better than his in game, so I think we should be okay. Looks like he's attacking here. If so, we'll use Gwasu to make sure we don't take the damage. Um, he might use Boo, so, uh, which is, wouldn't be a bad play. No combo. Okay, we're just going to use this to save the damage. Again, I mean, against these aggressive deck is really important to save our life, so we don't want to take too much life, especially when it's critical, you know? Okay, so it's back to our turn. Got a second four drop. Man, that's not really what we want. I might take a life, because we're at eight. I might actually take a life here. I might use one of these and then take a life, because we have, we have Beerus. I don't think we need, I don't think we need three removal cards. Yeah, let's play this down. Then we'll use uh, this to get a life, draw a card. Oh, Whis, perfect. So we're not gonna use Whis in our... Uh, um... So then we'll play an objection. I'm not sure what we're gonna play out though. Whis is Cursion, probably. Actually, it's possible too that we just use Gawasu and then use Whis to stop Vegeta, but I think we can just do that with the Gawasu and get the card out of it. So we'll, we'll do that. 
we'll play out our Gawasu and uh, hopefully now we're just looking for a black. That's all we need. We just need Goku black and we should be pretty good. I like our, our in game is all pretty much set up. <sighs> ten cost with Piccolo. I think we just go for ten cost here. We really get no benefit for like disguising our play or anything like that. Like it's not like if we don't take this, he doesn't know what deck we're playing or anything. Oh, I almost took the Piccolo. Holy crap! Yeah, we'll take the Zamasu ten drop. And then uh, I think we just pass turn. Next turn we'll attack him. So yeah, so we have to also have Whis to save a life too. So we can like next turn we can hopefully this turn we can stop the critical and then attack, knock him to four, and then Whis to stop the attack. And then we're probably in a pretty good spot after that. I can imagine it. We're still at seven life. This deck's pretty good against Vegeta in general. Okay, 15,000. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. So I think we just say uh, no negate. No combo. Okay. Um, get a six. Yeah, he's taking a life here. I think if it's worth killing this next turn, uh, okay. So, no negate. That's the big thing. Like, is it because if it's worth it, then we could use this combo to kill, but he can just boo to save it. Sensu Bean. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we just we just take that. I mean, again, there's nothing we can do about it. We just take it. He's using cards, so it's. <clears throat> it's fine. Plan the Buddha draw. Okay. I'm trying to think. I think it's because now that we have this, it might be fine to just tack into it. But he can save it. That's the thing. He can save it easily for no like no gain for us. So. Um. I like keeping Sensu being open too. This card's really good. The next turn. So I think we'll keep I think we'll keep Beerus and get rid of this this turn. Um, we'll play out Weiss and go top card is energy. It's always the ten cost, boys. Always the ten cost. We only need one though, so that's fine. Could be worse, I guess. I don't think we need two for any reason. I want to say keep this open for Sensu being next turn because I get through this turn I'm pretty confident we're in a good spot plus we have like Beerus just to play out and kill like a big drop that he might play or Zamasu to pressure it um but we are we are going to attack no negates we'll see no combo so we can get him to use one of those boos yeah all right good I uh, could attack with Whis, but again, I think it's just, you know, it's good just to stay back. I don't, I mean, we could, you know, pressure the Whis, but then I think he just combos <clears throat> and then uh, attacks us. But again, it's like it saves a life, so I guess it does the same thing. Right? So, like, if we, maybe we should have attacked with Whis. I think maybe we should have, but I guess he could just take the hit and then attack and kill it. But again, it just still saves us a life, which is what we want to do with the Whis anyway. Yeah, I think that might have been a mistake. I think we probably should have attacked with the Whis. I think... Because if he kills it, he kills it. Like there's not a whole lot we like we care about as far as that goes. We do need a Goku Black though. We do need a Goku Black. Awakened. What's our four drop? As a Whis. Okay. Uh, he's not going to get his uh, ability because he has a red. He he played the red energy. I think he maybe shouldn't have done that. I don't know what's in his hand though. Maybe he had to. Fifteen thousand. Uh, okay, we'll say no negate. I don't think he had to do that because you know on this side he won't get to the plus ten thousand no combo. <clears throat> uh, it takes. Yeah, I think I'll just go here and ready too. Mm, and then go here. So 
Because next time, I'm going to save the Beerus for like a bigger threat. Mm -hmm. We just want to save as much life as we can, because that's how we're going to win this matchup. Our end game is so much better than his that we don't we don't have to to go big or anything. Uh, Zeno button. I think we're gonna put Zeno button down, even though it's really good in this in this uh, scenario. <clears throat> I think I, I kind of want to play Beerus out and kill and then attack pressure him. Because then he has to use this or this. But it doesn't really help us get to where we want to be <clears throat> late game. So I think I'm just going to, to do the, uh, the big time play here. Play this guy out. Attack for 25 into here. He can save it, but it takes a lot of resources for him to do that. No negate, no combo. Yeah, awesome, great. So we could have just filled essentially. <clears throat> um, so all he has is this guy. Um, it's possible that we just we can take a life, go to four. He hits us twice, go to two. I think we want to try to stay alive though. We only had to have to take a life here because we get hit by this. This is fine. Yeah, we we'll stay at high life. Because we could take a to, could take a card there because we're not going to get any any benefit from this card right now because we don't want to pitch either of these cards. <clears throat> so he has one, two, three, four, five, six. He needs one more blue to be able to get the plus ten thousand from this card. So he actually is going to take the life. He's going to go to three. It's very ambitious against the Zamasu deck because he can't burn me out like he can against a lot of the other decks. Like it's very possible that I just start pressuring him with this card now. Fifteen thousand. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gate. <clears throat> Boost attack Piccolo. Hmm. He must have some some sort of plan here. Maybe he has a triple striker. Then he wouldn't attack with the Vegeta, right? Because it takes seven to play off the triple striker. Is the Vegeta triple striker? Three, four, five, six. Oh, he has seven. Hmm. Twenty-five. Um, okay, we'll take it. And now, if he if he attacks me with his leader, I have to counter it. I think because if not, I get blown out by the uh, the triple striker. Okay, so it was 15,000 into my guy. I think I have to counter. I don't want to, but I, I think if I don't, I get blown out by the triple striker guy. All right, because it costs seven to play him. I have no to play it. Uh, okay, we'll say no negate, and then we'll trigger this to pitch to counter. Like I said, I don't want to do that, but I, I think I have to. Because now if he plays a seven guy, I get three cards, and then... <clears throat> I, uh, Luis, okay. And this, that makes me think he must have surely has that card then. So I don't think I can play this out. I think I have to, I think I have to time walk myself. I think I have to like not play an energy here. something to pitch so if I go to three he just plays out and attacks I counter it I have to use my 10 cost guy to do that so make sure I don't get blown up by triple strike here it's gonna be tough to play around this um I think I just play this out as I think I just have to skip try to kill try to kill here and then 
have this to pitch and then hope I get Goku Black. <clears throat> okay, I think that's what I have to do. We'll, we'll, we'll try to play around it. We'll see if, if we if we, uh, if we we do or not. So let's attack in here. Hopefully we just kill it and then that would be good. Okay, counter. Sure. We're going to attack into this and see if we can bait a counter out. It's possible that we don't, but it would be cool if we could. Let me get, um, okay, no, no problem. Um, I'm actually going to use my ability here. Draw a card. Two, three, four. Because I'm three and I can pitch this to this and be okay. And then we'll attack in for 20,000 double strikes. If we can get another counter or something out of his hand. We're not going to die to triple strike. And we're going to be able to awaken. So we'll be fine. Unless for some reason he has like two triple strikers or something in hand. Which seems unlikely. I mean it doesn't seem unlikely. But it seems impossible for him to play both in one turn. I guess he could have the trunks maybe. But I think the trunks cost four. I guess he could, that's, he could have two trunks in hand I guess. It's a new card. And we can't stop both. Okay. And he played that super fast. That was like, <laughs> uh, if he attacks me with this guy, we're just taking it. To draw two. I, want, I, need, I need more cards in hand. We saw this. This is good. Um, yeah, I think we should have to wake it to this game uh, and mitigate. He did take a, he took it too. I mean, he has, he's at two life. Oh, that's so much. I haven't got any pickle yet either, so those, those should be coming pretty soon. Oh, double strike. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh, why is he going all in? Okay, so he has... That's so much. Okay. It's 15, uh, 20, 30, 45. So we're going to type it out. Oh, actually, I'll just ask him. 45. He really wants to get those two cards. I just want to waken at one, so it's worth it. <laughs> so it's fine with me. I mean, missing two cards is not a big deal when I'm about to draw two cards. So We can put so much pressure on him next turn, too. I think we just probably pitch this black to this. Do I want to awaken here? I, don't, I can't. I, don't, I can't take ten. I can't take ten cards this early. Um, we'll say negate. I'm gonna do this. Pitch. All right. Good. Now we gotta open with this. Ooh, Weiss is good. Weiss is courage. It's good. I think I'm not going to charge again. I mean, it stinks, but I think I can put enough pressure with him at two life to be okay with this and this. Plus, I'm awakening. I don't think I have to charge here. I, I, I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't want to play my ten cost. I know it sounds really weird, but I, I, I don't want to. I don't think we have to to, to win. Okay, let's attack for. We just want to play conservatively because I, I don't think he can beat us as long as we play like super conservatively. Just waiting for them to gate so we see what we draw. Oh, Mafuba is such a good card. That's perfect with what we have in hand. Um, we'll say no combo. I, I can pitch this for the counter. Use all everything else to stay alive. I can definitely charge next turn. No combo. So he's thinking that. Okay. So that's that's good enough. So let's go here. So you like essentially have three counters in hand in the gate. Uh, no combo. Which is really good. Oh nice, we got it. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're going into this next turn uh, extremely good now. Is he, like I say, he's at two life, so Essentially, when we can play our 10 cost, I think we'll be all right. 
we just need one more energy to play it. And there's really no reason, I think, to, like, our hand is so good right now. We have a Mafuba if he plays anything insane. We have a counter. We have the Bulma we can pitch for a counter. We have a boost attack Piccolo. We just have so many ways to stay alive that I feel like it's just not needed to, uh, to overextend. Let's see what happens here, though. He does have enough to go up to like 10,000 on us, though. I think he has six, yeah, so seven. He has so much energy. Three, six, nine energy. Jeez. He could probably stop. Um, he, he probably should stop um, charging energy. Okay, so we're just going to counter this. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to get hit. I'm going to save all of our cards so we can survive an alpha strike. Hopefully, he plays out some huge drop that we can Mafuba. This, I think, we'll just pick a low. If we get hit by the oh okay yeah now we're definitely uh, this is the this is the guy I was afraid of so he had it so at least we played around it we know that we played around it um, okay so we're gonna play two and play out Mafubo in it so glad we played it it's actually cost six I thought it cost seven it cost six so we actually played we played around it but I think we still could have got maybe blown out about it. Let's have triple strike, right? I'm right. Yeah. Okay. What is this thing? Holy moly! Whatever it is, hopefully we can kill it. Nope. Six drop. What's six? What cost six? Beerus. Oh, just Beerus attack into you. Okay. Uh, so no negate, and then boom, and then pitch. Anyway, pitch to this. The counter. Sorry, wouldn't let me. Yeah, what we hope we get here, he might have Mafuba, which, oh, this is such a good draw. One, two, three, four. We don't, we, again, we don't have to overextend. This is so good. Yeah, no charge again. We have two more counters essentially, so we don't have to no charge. Uh, we'll just attack into him again, so if we can get some more cards. He only has three cards in hand. We may actually just be able to win. Let's see what we draw. Oh, Sensu Bean. This is good. I think we're going to use the Sensu Bean to counter though. So we're going to counter one, counter two, and have these open. Uh, we'll just say no combo though. He takes it oh he does take it yeah we're just gonna clear his board there's no reason to overextend let's tack in 25 here we have this guy is super powerful next turn too no gates i kind of want to use piccolo though just to draw a card just to see if i draw something like a goku black or something to win the game it's so unlikely to draw goku black i should know where other ones are um We'll just say no combo. Keep keep the piccolo. We definitely want to try to use piccolo though if we can next turn. But I think we have these two to pitch, so we're probably okay. Like we have this to counter and this to pitch, and then we'll just pass it back to our opponent. Like it's it's almost impossible for him to kill us this turn. Like we just have so many. We have two counters. We have the ability to um, to mill. You know, we have two double strikes we can mill as well. Well, I guess one double strike, right? Because we, we we draw our last card, we'll lose. So we can we can stop a double strike. We can counter two attacks. Seems to be very strong. Plus we have a pickle and stuff that we can use. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, cat block. Yeah. At the end of this turn, uh, it goes away. He was asking if Mafuba still stays. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to. Uh, we're gonna pitch the true bean to uh, the counter. And we're gonna save this up for a big, a big striker here. Because this he knows about, this he doesn't. Four attack. What is the chances of him just going all out right here? I, I think we're gonna say none gate because this can't kill me. So we're gonna say none gate. We're gonna save this, and as I want to get some use out of Piccolo, and so it's possible that he just, yeah. So he uses Jocko. So he's using cards out of his hand to try to get there. So he's at twenty-five right now. He only has two cards in hand too, so 
25. Okay, so we're going to use Piccolo, draw a card. Zawasu, man, that Gawasu. What do I do here? Let's see. I could play it out and save the life, or I can play him out next turn to get Goku black. Three, six, go to seven. It's not enough to like win, though. Yeah, we're just going to use him to stay alive. So we'll play him out and go to, uh, go to 30. And we still have this to play out to counter his next uh, play if he has one. He does. Good. So this is tapped out. He actually probably loses here. This is God Charge. Um, so this attacks twice, right? Is this dual attack? Critical five. Okay. Uh, we'll say um, one, two, three, four. Negate. When we attacks, we'll mill five and then probably win with all these attacks since he has one card in hand and no. I have a feeling though that that he thinks that uh, that he wins right here, but we'll see. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. No. Okay. Good. All right. Nice. We can use this to clear this. I don't think we, we don't need a charge here either. So we'll say uh, again, no charge. It's been such a weird game because we're not charging, like we're not getting to our big guy, but I don't think there's no reason to charge needlessly, especially if this guy on the table. We have this that we can kill like this with. Counter, okay. So we'll draw a card. Go to black, okay. Oh, he's just gonna say good game. Good game. Uh, let's go ahead and just attack in there like this, just so for the video you guys know where the attack would be. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's the uh, second game that we've got to play in Octagon. This was a really weird game because we didn't actually get to our big guys, but it's a cool way to show how to play against aggressive decks. Remember, just like your end game is better than theirs, uh, and especially when you have Alert God out, it's really important to kind of keep that out and make sure you have plenty of cards in hand uh, so you can pitch to keep countering. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.